<laughs> Make our way through the slum. Sweet. Dogs scare me on the street. Here we are. Those people were fighting. Morning guys. Today I'm meeting up with a guy that I met. I met this guy yesterday when I went to the ATM to get some money. All the ATMs were closed, they all ran out of money. He helped me look for some more and they eventually were all just no cash in them. He eventually came up with the smart idea of me. Ten dollars for businessmen, got the money transactions. Money, four dollars in the ATM, more money for really good guy. Now I'm gonna meet him and then he's gonna show me around Mumbai with his brother. I think we're gonna go check out a slum, so that's gonna be not sure what to expect, but it'll be interesting to say the least. Let's go meet him. There's a line for the bank still going on almost a month after the currency change. Because I met this really cool guy, now I'm saving a lot of time. I don't have to queue up at ATM. Not to mention I'm saving about $30. Such a good guy. Really open. He's like, I want you to have a good impression of India. Thanks, man. Another bank. Those people were fighting outside the bank because they just shut it down and they ran out of cash. And all those people that have probably been lining up for an hour or more just were told to go. Still everyday situations here, man. Anyway, let's go and see some crazy stuff. This is the hospital that I ended up in two days ago. If you didn't see that video, check it out. Guys, just met up with my cool friends. We're about to head to the slum. Hi, my name is Suhas. Okay. And we met in uh, India, in Mumbai. We like uh, Nicola's uh, behavior. So we are good friends now. You like my behavior? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, I yeah. like your behavior yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. And? Hi, <laughs> my name is Sachin. Sachin. I think it's like a 14 or 15 kilometer journey, so not really sure how long it's going to take in this crazy traffic, but we'll keep it posted. This place is crazy. 20.7 million people. And you're one of them. So we've arrived to wherever we are now. I'm not quite sure where we are, but definitely not a tourist destination, I'll tell you that much. What did he say? Go straight. Yeah. You see the slum. Okay. Also he's joking on us. Really? Yeah, so stupid people. <laughs> Stop! It's the motherfucking remix! Oh, yeah, the Who in the world want a problem with that? Amazing. Cricket. Alright guys, we're just entering down some alleyway into the slum. Not sure what to expect. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Come, 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 come. Thank you. This is a small type of houses. Yeah, yeah. Small house. Small house. Nice. Small house. Yeah. Okay. Small house. All out. Small house. Uh, Cheers. I'm bodyguard for you. Thanks, man. Headman, headman, small house. Oh, shit. This is my house. This is my house. This is your house. Lock on this house. Headman. Yeah. Do you mind if I. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Yeah, my house. Yeah. Hey, 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 like this. <laughs> oh, oh. These dogs scare me. Bye bye. 
50 years, 50 years living, 50 years here at least. 50 years? 50 years living here. You've been living yeah. here 50 years? Yeah. Amazing. The small, small lanes here. Very small lanes. Very small, yeah. Just, just be careful. Just safe your head. Yeah. Just safe. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Ah, uh, working. Small house. Hello. You want to see more? You want to see more? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. Hey guys. Thank you, sir. See you later. Nice to meet you. So we just met up with that older gentleman. He showed us around his local slum area. He's been living here for like 50 years, so just amazing. It was pretty funny walking down here vlogging. As you can imagine, everyone's, I, I don't know what you can see in the background, people are probably just staring. But, uh, it's good practice for public vlogging, because there's nowhere where you can just vlog like, by yourself. Like, there's always people around. Good vlogging practice. So we're gonna do a bit more exploring now, I think. So far, definitely not what I expected from an Indian slum. They're really like clean. I haven't smelled anything bad and the people are well dressed. I don't know what preconceived ideas that I've had from maybe movies like Slumdog Millionaire or but they seem like they're absolutely fine. There must be there's gotta be worse slums than this in India. I mean this nice. Hey good good man. So we just arrived and is this another slum? Slum is on the hill. So we're just gonna walk up this hill and see if we can find some more slums. This is one of the most incredible things that I've ever seen in my life, right? Look at that. There's slums up on the hill. And then over here is these slums. This is amazing. Down here we've got some pigs. Give me a one picture, please. You want a picture? Just wait, wait. <laughs> goes from the, that two people yeah so there is a route to go to the temple I think it would be cool though to try and make our way through the this slum. way yeah yeah so can we do it yeah, yeah if we try and make our way through the slum and over to the temple that'd be cool Follow the children. Everyone's staring at me and screaming foreigner. Good sign, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
And this is uh, cheap real estate. Yeah. And it's got the best view in the whole city. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nick. Nick. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Hello. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. So many puppies. So many puppies. And pigs. And pigs with crows on them. Huh? Yeah, they love it. It's this experience. It's incredible. Like, this is probably the most surreal setting I've ever seen in my life. Eh? These slums. It's, it's insane because you know you see the movies and it looks horrible and everything, but everyone here is just happy and they seem a lot friendlier than in the city. Another reminder that money isn't everything. It's just amazing. All these buildings are slums along here. All over there. And then this whole backside, just thousands of slums. And the slums don't actually have working toilets, they just go out on the street. You know, the houses are just basic, so they don't have a bathroom. I heard a statistic, I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but I'll have to check, that there's more people with mobile phones in Mumbai than access to a toilet, so just mind-blowing. It's incredible. The pollution here is next level as well. I mean, you can't even see, like, a kilometre away. It's just pretty good. It's definitely thought-provoking kind of stuff. I've got all my friends here. Say hi. Hi! This is a kite. This is a kite. Good work. We're going to head back down now and we're going to head back towards the area of the hotel. This has just been an amazing experience. So we're going to walk down through this garbage chute. Oh, Hitler. No, that's German. <laughs> <laughs> Trees are on fire off in the distance. What are you... <laughs> Don't murder me! Don't kill me with that! Is that a present? What is that? <laughs> Donkey! <laughs> Shit, man. Those things are dangerous, man. Police and the room. Police and the room. Police and the room. Poor guy. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. This kid is filling up drinking bottles. It's amazing. He's like two years old. He's carrying like 60 kgs in his hand. Guys, I don't know if you follow my vlogs, but if you do follow them, you may or may not have noticed that I haven't been raging about the Indian people that I've come across in my travels. Obviously, I've met a few cool ones, but not overly that many. And then today, coming to the slums, I've just met so many lovely, happy people. It's like, like the real India, maybe, but it's so fascinating, you know, in the cities where people have a bit more money. Just not as friendly as what I've come across here, so it's, just being around all those kids just reminds me of like Vietnam and Cambodia where, 
you know, they're just happy and, and helpful and friendly. And it's pretty cool. It's definitely changed a lot of feelings that I've had towards Indian culture, maybe, without sounding too harsh, if you know what I mean. So what are we up to now? Are we getting a ride back? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I, I want to ask you. Yeah. What is the language in the New Zealand? The mother language. English. English. Oh, it's not the mother language. The mother language is Maori, which is a uh, native speech. Uh, English is the main language. Why did you think my English wasn't that good? No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> So it's the next day after that dinner the guys took me out and we had a few beers and met up with the brother and just such a great day and they paid for everything I think I paid for the first taxi ride which cost about five dollars and for the rest of the day they paid for everything they paid for all the taxis they paid for the lunch they paid for a few beers in the evening and then they brought me back to the hotel and I tried to pay several times I was forcing the money into his pocket he just would not take it he's like I'm in a position to help and why wouldn't I help if I can help? That's beautiful. Definitely one of the, the days of traveling that I'll remember. Just so eye-opening, you know? You, you know those places exist, but when you, until you actually see them right in front of you, and you see the kids, and you see where they live, you know, how they act, and their smiles, and all the pollution and the rubbish just mixed all together. It's eye-opening, mind-blowing experience. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video a bit longer than the usual ones, but uh, I just had so much footage. I seriously cut it down as, as tight as I possibly could without losing the feel of it. So tomorrow I'm actually leaving Mumbai and I am heading north. So feel free to guess where I'm going in the comments. And thank you so much for following my adventures. It really means a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. What would you